Hey, what's up everyone? David Wood here for davidwoodfx.blogspot.com with another cool GIMP tutorial for you. And this one's pretty cool. We have a really neat effect that we're doing. We will be creating this jewelry effect inside of GIMP today. We got gold text and then an actual diamond look on the inside. Okay, this is a request from Steve D on the gimper.net forum. Uh, so let's get started. Part of this, is, this effect is actually just cheating. We are going to go to File, Create, Logos, SAT Chrome, which stands for State of the Art Chrome. And in here, uh, you know, choose the text that we want. We need to choose a font that's bold, you know, because otherwise it won't work for this. I've already got Arial Bold selected. Um, we don't have to change any of these other settings. We just have to click OK. And that's pretty fast. And if you look closely in here, you can see we've got a gold effect going around the edges here. And all we have to do is come over to the layers and delete this top layer. And there we have gold jewelry. Really? Like I said, easy. Uh, next thing we need to do is remove this border around the edge here, which we can do by taking this layer styles and just applying it, or the layer mask, and then take, uh, go over to the rectangle tool and make a selection around the text, and then inverting it and hitting clear. And we have to do the same for the drop shadow like so. Okay, then we can go to layer, transparency, alpha to selection, and you can see it selects the text, and then we go to select, shrink, and we want it to go just inside this little border, this edge that the text has. So around five should work. Yep, that works perfectly. <clears throat> and then create a new blank layer, or transparent layer, I should say, and go to Edit, Fill, with foreground color, which I set to white. Then we have to go to Filters, Noise, HSV Noise, and turn down the saturation, and turn the value up. You know, you could go all the way if you want well and we can select none and that looks pretty good it looks better than one of the results from a Photoshop tutorial mainly because the text the gold text looks better but we'll do more to it we will go to filters distorts emboss and uh, depth of two work and then Elevation We just want that to Stick out a little bit Right about there looks good And hit OK And uh, Select none That looks pretty good as it is We'll do one last thing We'll go to filters map Bump map And make sure that This layer is selected Uh you can see there, it's coming from the bottom over, and we can just invert it, and that will place it back in there. And it brightens it up like it should. Perfect. Kind of that makes it look like it's set down in there, too. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and rename this. Uh, let's see, we'll just rename this Stone because I'm too lazy to type diamond and we'll just call this gold okay last thing we need to do is take the stone layer go back to layer transparency alpha to selection create another blank layer and this time we have to go to our patterns tab and fill it with this pattern right here it's called electric blue and go to edit fill with pattern select none and there it is. 
we can go to colors desaturate click OK and then we have to go to colors levels again and this time grab or not again this is the first time but grab the white slider and push that over to around 90 and then grab the gray slider and push that the other way to around 0.3 okay and then we have to take this top layer and just go to the blend mode and change that from normal to hard light and there is our effect Let's see uh, like I said pretty simple you know we could change it up a little bit let's see we can what can we do to make this better we'll take the stone one go to the levels and just kind of bring the lights out there we go okay piece of cake right last thing we need to do is create a new layer this time we can fill it with black take our paintbrush to choose the diameter star and uh, set the layers mode to screen and just start clicking in various spots I'm sure you want it to stand out Let's see, the background, we need to take that and darken that up so you can see these effects that we're going for. There we go. We might even change the mode to add. No, that's too harsh. Back to screen. And we'll just take the levels and just boost that up a little bit. Not too much. And there is our gold jewelry. We might even take this layer and just change the saturation just a little bit. Make it lighter. Saturation up. Okay. And also something you can do, you can go into the hue and saturation and just bring the hue closer over to a gold you can get kind of a bronze look you could take the saturation to zero or to negative 100 and just bring up the lightness a little bit so you could have chrome um, you might be even able to color the actual diamond effect if you want uh, I won't go into that uh, last thing that you could do is take the gold layer and duplicate it and blur it and then set the blend mode to add or screen just to add more of a glow around it make it look like it's really shiny you could do the same thing with our diamond effect too but that is all there is to it okay you know you're not you could even just take away this layer and put this you know across somebody's neck you know add a chain behind it um and that is it. Well, uh, I'm David Wood, davidwoodfx.blogspot.com, and I'll see you guys next time.